Seric Virtual Design Made Easy. How do we do that? It's how you set the case up. 80% of our success with CAD CAM dentistry is how we prepare and how we take our optical impression. Those concepts are highlighted at CERC Liftoff, which is my online training and mentoring program. But I'm going to mention a few of those points right now. When you prepare, you want to prepare your preparations for the type of ceramics that you're going to place in. You need to know your metric system for thickness. You want smooth flowing margins. You want smooth flowing internal surfaces. So in other words, you don't want any sharp areas, so you don't create weak areas in your ceramic. When you're preparing multiple teeth or one tooth, you want to make sure that the draw of your preparation is in alignment with the proximal contacts next door. Eight out of ten times, I will enamel plasti the adjacent proximal contacts for several reasons. Number one is I want to optimize my contact zone so I have great embrasure form so I don't have buccal lingual food impaction issues. Think about that. Number two is that when I take my optical impression, I'm not having to pitch and roll because that can create optical distortion. So if I have all my important surfaces in view of one optical path, then the optical impression becomes really easy. Make sure you use a reflective medium that is thin. So once you're ready for design, you don't have to think about too many things. I do recommend the buckle bite with the posing arch. I have found the inclusion on that to be very right on, if you know what I mean. Once you set your parameters, which is part of our chapter five at Seric Liftoff, my objective is I want my restoration to seat without binding on the interproximal contact because I have good interproximal contact zones and there's ways to finish that without having to polish the interproximal contact. I want my margins closed, I want my inclusion to be about dead on. Sounds like a happy moment. It is for me from a restorative standpoint. So when I'm doing my virtual design, I don't dink a lot. In other words, my main responsibility are two. <laughs> it's really amazing. And that's to trace my margin and to set my axial insertion. The software should do most of your design. If you're having to use a lot of tools, your design tools, to create restorations the way you want them, you may want to back up and think about how you prepare and how you take your optical impression. I use the, the virtual animated process for both setting my occlusion, we call that the antagonist virtual grind, and I use my contact option to set my interproximal contact firmness based on parameters. Once you have those systems down, your restoration should drop in, whether you're doing one, two, three, or four. It's really simple once you pay attention to the details. So when we're doing our virtual design, we don't spend a lot of time dinking. I very rarely use the tools. I like the form tool. That's what I call my wax spatula. I don't use a lot of the other tools. And so if I'm working anterior teeth, I prefer to use correlation. In other words, I have some prototype or a mock-up before I get into the clinical arena. When I'm designing posterior teeth, I usually use biogeneric. Now that could change as the software changes, but right now that's the CLIM model. So if you want to know more about virtual design and make it simplistic, my CEREC liftoff program is excellent for that. In chapter four, which is dealing with the posterior options of design, you are able to download the same CDT file that I'm designing on the screen and you can design along with me. If you upload your CEREC software to maybe your desktop with a widescreen, it works really well. So you can design along with me, and there's multiple cases that you can share that process with. For anterior teeth in chapter nine, we have the same process. In other words, you can download your CDT file that I'm designing, so you can have that to design along with me. And then I go through the finishing processes. Virtual design shouldn't be complex. If anything, it should be easy. And the CEREC Liftoff online training and mentoring is excellent for your team. In other words, if you want your team to take more of the responsibility of the design process, with the quality of our biogeneric software and knowing the steps and principles to move through, it shouldn't be a hard thing to do. So uh, I'd like to invite you to become a member of CEREC Liftoff and have a lot of fun. Thank you.